This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. More than 21,000 students go back to Boone County Schools today. Masks required for students and staff per state order, despite the school board previously deciding to make it optional. More than 550 students, preschool through fifth grade, will step into a brand new elementary school. Steeplechase Elementary is opening in Walton, Kentucky. It's one of 15 elementary schools in the district now. Across the river, Westchester area representative Jennifer Gross is pushing back against Governor Mike DeWine's mask recommendation and specifically the Republican fighting to end mask mandates in Lakota local schools. She recently signed on to legislation prohibiting schools in Ohio from mandating students wear masks. Her office says the decision on masking should be left up to parents. People using planes, trains and buses, other public transportation will be required to wear masks at least for the rest of the year. The TSA extended the federal mask requirement through January 18th. It was set to expire September 13th. The TSA and CDC did not comment on the extension, which now covers the busy travel seasons of Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, here we start the day with a mostly cloudy sky. Those that are seeing a little bit of clearing are getting fog instead. So there's all that low level moisture left with us. We'll end up warming to around 84 around the noon hour with a mostly cloudy sky and then after that, turning partly cloudy today with a high of 86, but it, feel, it still feels like 90, like it's still a warm and humid forecast for us. Tonight we're down to 70 as new rounds of rain move in and we'll see some scattered showers and a few isolated storms only tomorrow morning, but throughout a good chunk of the day, don't forget the umbrella.